the man who does not counsel of the wicked or it does not standing in the way of sinner or seed of a seed of mocha. It's uh, his delight is in the law of the Lord. Oh, oh, uh, uh, you don't want to hear the word I'm saying. His delight, my delight, your delight, his delight is in the word of the Lord. On the word of the Lord, he meditates day and night. Daytime, nighttime, anytime. Hmm? I know you are doing that. Oh, my, 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 my Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Give me glory, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. So God, we serve. I'm preaching now. Huh? Can, I, can I tell you about um, chapter one, the one? Oh, yes. It's, it's so good. Oh, thank you, Lord. He's uh, like a tree. Like a tree, it planted by the stream of water, which yields each fruit in season, whose leaves does not wither. Whatever he does, he prospers. Whatever, whatever it does, whatever you do, God takes care of you because you are meditating the word of God in every day. I know you do. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. So I uh, can I tell you what Psalm chapter one, verse uh, four, four, so, uh, four, I think. It is it, about uh, Sina. Not. So wicked. No, no, no. They, they, they were like a chap that the wind blows. They, they cannot stand in the judgment. Noah's seen assembly of the righteous. Listen, my friend. God watch over the way of the righteous, like you. Yes, I know. You love God. You love the word of God. You love the Jesus Christ. You love the Holy Spirit. Oh. So, so good. Hallelujah. Oh, my, my. So tasty, so sweet. It's the, the word is, Lord, is sweeter than sugar, you know, sweeter than honey. Mm. What Bible say? Uh, Jeremiah 15, 16 says, <clears throat> Word came to me. I ate them. I ate them. The word, this word of God, it is good for me. Joy and rejoice. I am delighted with the, with the word of God. Okay. So, uh, I would like to speak about the blessing of world. That's why. Recite uh, at the word of God, Psalm chapter 1, the one, before I preaching. This time, my message, the blessing of the world you love. Hmm? You are blessed because you got the word of the God. 
You don't think anything that is belong to world. Uh, uh, I know you always thinking and meditating the world you gonna love. The Bible. The Bible. Oh, hallelujah. So, oh, oh, all right. I, I, I'm gonna move now. Act A chapter 5. I'm going to start at this time. This passage. Oh, uh, listen, my friends. Uh, you don't need to open the Bible. I, I just show the passage I'm going to read. <coughs> oh, hallelujah. Philip went down a city in Samaria and proclaimed Christ there. Who is Philip? Philip is not one of the twelve disciples. He was one of the seven deacons uh, whom disciples had chosen uh, the, uh, the those who had fulfilled of Holy Spirit and uh, in the wisdom they were given by the God to, to do their job that they're going to distribute the food program to the needy. Hmm. All right. So the apostle chose and the seven deacons, including and, uh, Stephen, one of the seven deacons who forced to martyr. Hmm. He was forced to martyr. All right. So I want to tell you the background of history of the days of uh, and Israel. Israel had been divided in uh, uh, three main regions. Uh, the, uh, Lord, uh, the Galilee in northern part and, and Samaria in middle part and Judea in south. Oh, uh, Samaria, uh, the city of capital in Israel, and uh, northern kingdom of Israel, before it was conquered by Assyria in 722 BC. You know this history. All right. So after Stephen had martyred, died by the Jewish people. Oh. I, I, I don't want to tell you this bad, sad story, you know. You can read the, the, the Acts chapter uh, the five or six, seven. So Jerusalem church had scattered everywhere. Persecution to believers in Jerusalem. Forced to out of the, their homes in Jerusalem, and uh, along with uh, them, with the uh, gospel, so they preach the gospel in everywhere. After the church of Jerusalem were persecuted by the Jewish people. 
you know, one of the persecutor words, soul, <laughs> soul, you know, soul. Later, he converted the, the, the Paul, who great just evangelist ever history. He had written 13 books in your testament. All right. So, uh, uh, what I'm saying now, uh, yes, Philip, Philip went down to Samaria to preaching gospel in there. What had happened? Uh, many, many miraculous signs had uh, happened. Oh, my, my. Many, many uh, in the impure spirit, evil spirit, was driven out. Healing who he was seeking had been healed by the power of God. Philip, Philip had preached the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's what I'm speaking now. Hmm? Oh my. When, okay, Act, next verse, Act 8, chapter 6 says, When the crowd heard Philip and saw the beat of cross, the sign he did, they all paid the crowd attention to what he said. Hmm? I know you are, <laughs> you want to give attention and listen this word I'm preaching now. Thank you, my brother and sister. Uh, I want you to listen this word. I'm I'm preaching now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you, are you listening, my brother and sister? I love you. God loves you. Uh, God so much of it. Because it's not excellent. You are watching this, this, this uh, sermon. I'm preaching now. No excellent. No coincidence. It's God's will, I believe. I strongly believe. It's God's will. Holy Spirit touch you now. That's why you're listening. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm going to move. So, when Philip preached the gospel, God's power, God's power, we need. You need, I need. God, not your own power. We don't want, we can't preach by our own strengths, our own knowledge, our own in, in, in the power. No, 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 we can't do that. Holy power, Holy Spirit can do whatever you are preaching, whatever you are doing. The, the, the preaching of gospel, I know you love. This word of God. That's why today's message Blessing of the world you have. I, I got this word of God. Hallelujah. Oh, my, my. The word of God is accompanied by the power of God. Yeah, I believe that. When, when you receive the word with Amen. Amen. Miracle will take place. Yeah, I strongly believe. Whenever you receive the, the message, whoever 
the your preacher, the church, whoever, the evangelist preaching. When you feel the touched by the word of God in your heart, you should speak, open the mouth. Amen, amen. This is just my word that comes to my heart. It is Rema. Rema, that only the word talking to you though, by the Lord. That you should say at that time you got to receive this word, you open them. Amen, amen. That what happened? Miracle take place. Hallelujah. As a Christian, we should always meditate the word of God. Trying to listen to the voice of the Lord through the word. Hallelujah. Oh, my, my, my God. Hallelujah. Oh, Mandala. But listen, when we receive the grace of the world, grace of God, we will have a joy. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I'm joyful and rejoice because of, because of this word of God preaching now. Hallelujah. But, but, if we don't have a word which is just spin to your your head in your brain, you know. By the way, the we say the often we say sometimes the heart, the heart. The Bible uh, it, it mentioned the, uh, the heart, heart in many times. Many this book, heart, heart. Open the heart, and the word comes to open uh, the, your heart. Heart is okay. Heart is. Uh, it's symbolically this uh, this word is hot, but I I'm gonna tell uh, the, the, the what what the, what the, the, the brain hot is brain your head you should know eh? your brain all right mm. so. If you are sad, gloomy, sometimes, I know. Sometimes we fall down. Sometimes um, yeah, and the feeling is, is, is bad. Or depressed by the something you feel. I don't know, you may feel sometimes uh, what happened in your life. But it doesn't matter. You, you should overcome by the word of God. Because it gives you rejoice, the joy. Overcome the beat, this gloomy Feeling, a depressing feeling. Get out of my sight, get out of my mind, get out of my brain, which is a heart. Hallelujah. Sometimes we feel the hatred, the complaints, complain to the neighbor, friend, your wife, and to, uh, finally to the God, like uh, Israelites. You know the, what, I'm, to, what I'm saying now. All right. But instead of that, we Speaking those bad words, we will have uh, overflowing joy because the word of God fully proclaimed the good news. Good news. I am preaching the good news of the kingdom of God and the power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Many, many people came to the Lord. Hallelujah. But oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, oh my, 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 my time is oh, almost up. So I. I, I I'm gonna tell you the, I you know Jonathan Edwards, who <clears throat> a great sister evangelist and the theologian, and uh, and the most uh, you know you know most most uh, the famous. Uh, a theologian, a philosophical theologian in the days of uh, colony by British. It was uh, 1703 through the 1758. 53 had lived. You know, Jonathan had one. I want to tell you the, 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 the short story of Jonathan. And those people are encouraging my sermon today. He started the Great Awakening America. He made a Great Awakening movement 
and the revival boom on to by the Holy, Sp Holy Spirit in this country that we want to we want to looking forward to the great revival boom on to that Jonathan had made Yes, we need this revival meeting. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it's doing now. It's happening now by the a lot of evangelists. Hmm? One of you, if you could be one of evangelists. He was full of the Holy Spirit. Listen, 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 listen. Oh, I can't believe that. Uh, only he was 10 years old. He prayed five times in the day. 10 years old. And he read the Bible with friends. Hmm? Can you believe that? Oh, my, 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 hallelujah. When he, he went to college, uh, you know, his zeal for Christ uh, it became it, a little bit cool, a little bit down. So God raised the whip of the love to Edward to the, uh, the prolophy, bad disease, prolophy, you know. So he was suffering. By this bad these brutal, he repented. He prayed again, again. God, God healed his flawless bad disease. He, God cured his flawless. You know, at that time, this flawless could be fatal. Very, very bad. Disease. Hmm? Listen. Oh, that here's the, here is what I'm telling now. What Ed, Edward said, he confessed this word. After he had repented, he had been and cured and prorocy by the in the power of the God, he had confessed and declared this statement. And the fourth Timothy, uh, one chapter seven. Oh, to the Lord, eternal Lord, immortal Lord, invisible Lord. I say again. Oh Lord, immortal, eternal Lord, immortal, invisible. Oh my, the only God be honor, glory forever and ever. He loved that word. He, he, he said, it was, when I was reading that uh, passage in my soul, I felt something totally different and uh, to glory of God. Oh, it was completely different from the other scripture I had been reading. Hallelujah. And he spread all over the, my soul, no other scripture passage has ever came to me. Listen, no, no not listen. I said, listen. I, I, he said continuously, I would be, uh, I would be overly happy. Oh, that, that's what I want, to, I, I want to say. I would be, I would be overly happy if, if, I rejoice in the word of God. <laughs> I would to be, you would to be, I would to be buried, buried. I said buried in his bosom in heaven. Oh, hallelujah. 
Oh, what happened? The result of this repent and preach it. And Nozam and Massachusetts, he had been preached. Totally changed. All bar closed. And the great awakening America, the revival meeting had happened. Oh, 50,000 people were converted in the short period. They said, Hallelujah, pray the Lord. Amen. Same miracle is about to happen when we preach. You preach. We, we are doing the work of God. Hallelujah, this word you love, I love, should be preached to the people, people, and they're going to listen, and what Samaria, see what Samaria said, all joy, they people, joy and rejoice whenever they heard the word of God. Same, see, I, I want to tell you the. Right, there's one word that touch you, this rhema. I, 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 I want to tell them my testimony. testimony. I, the one word when I was about, when I was 33 years old, 33 years old, yeah, the word came. At that time, I didn't know everything about the Jesus, but word came, touch me. Uh, uh, the fourth to John for chapter eight. He who does not love God does not know God because God is love. That's the, this passage changed my life. I, I became as born again by this word, like Jonathan, which greatest revivalist in the 18th century, he had received one of the first, first, first Timothy 1 chapter 7, we had shared this word, changed the Jonathan. I know one word, maybe two words, you had been, you had experienced by the word of God that were touched your heart. I know you have a testimony like Jonathan Edward. Yes, that is, that is our happiness. That is our joy. That is our blessing of the world. We received as a Christian. No people don't know Jesus Christ, don't know this word of God. Bread of life. Never ever corrupted. Forever. Everything is going to change. This was never changed. The Bible said you have this one word, the word of God, going to change somebody's destiny, your destiny, your, your mission. That world is going to change by you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Give me glory. Oh, bye-bye. See you later. Keep reading the Bible, you will be always rejoice the joy, the victorious life, it goes on. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Giving glory. Oh, thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, I pray. I pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray. My friend, watch my sermon will be will be joyful and rejoice 
in the word of God. They got this message forever, ever, and using this word and activate in their life to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Pray the Lord giving glory. Amen. Bye-bye.